We're in the hair mix at Walk Club. Oh yeah! yeah. That's right, right? There we go. Right. Good job. Oh. There we go. When you join Wacklow, you're joining a community. Our facilities are great, our activities are wonderful. But really, when a camper leaves here, what they're leaving with are lifelong friends. <laughs> At the first council fire, Tammy explained the mission statement, confidence, independence, and having a voice. These are all things I feel I have gained and strengthened since coming to camp. For as long as I can remember, I've struggled with confidence, always in need of a boost, and that boost was camp. When they come home from camp, they are confident, self-assured, in their own capabilities, and relaxed. And to me, that's huge, priceless. I've learned to be myself here, and it's a really comfortable place for me, and I just love it here more than I can really put into words. <laughs> I were to give any advice to a camper that was coming to Waka for their first summer, I would say to be yourself because no matter who you are, what you're like, everybody will just welcome you. My favorite place at camp is Council Fire. Council of Fire. The same as most of us who are alums of Council Fire and, um, and Reflections. It was a different name at that time on Sunday evenings, but I really enjoy Reflections. Those are two all-camp activities that get everyone together, all the age groups, and it's a very magical, special time. For me, that's what camp has always been about a place for me to be undeniably, unapologetically happy. <laughs> that was good. It's become a place for me to escape the seemingly never-ending high school drama or the seemingly never-ending schoolwork and all in all my town in general. For the past eight years, camp has been my escape, my way to reset and truly be myself. It is my home away from home and I'm not sure exactly who I'd be without it. If I had one word to describe the community, it would be like family. At Walkville, one of our priorities is to treat this community is a large family. I love getting to know the girls before they arrive at Waklo because then when I'm placing them in a cabin or trying to see which counselors I think will make their experience the best, I know a little bit about these campers. I really love that hands-on aspect of Waklo where I'm a part of the family. There was this silent show. There was a girl that she started singing. Um, she was doing great. It was her first year here at camp. She was walking it, she was hitting all the high notes. She sang the chorus, she was killing it. After the chorus, she forgot the lines of the second verse and everybody went a bit quiet. Out of nowhere, the campers started singing, started joining in, and all, all of Denglo, all the stage was singing with her, and we all joined in and it was quite fun. And I could see the face she made when she realized everybody was supporting her. I think that was amazing. We're an all-female staff. We are a female-run camp. I believe it's important because one of our missions and one of our focuses is women supporting women. It's about and for women and developing strong women. So I think those are the things that I tell other families. One, two, three, one, two! We also encourage them to try new things and we do a lot more 
hiking and camping out than when I was a camper here at Wachlow because our girls really want to try that. They want the outdoor cooking. They want to do these overnights and learn how to cook over a fire and pitch tents, stuff that they enjoy and that they don't have the opportunity to do at home. I think my favorite part about being a counselor is just the impact that you have on the girls' lives. Like, you make such a tremendous difference. One of the perks about that I find about working at camp and just going to camp for a long time is that you have friends like all over the world. And just like learning about like the different cultures, like the different like languages and everything and how everyone's so different around the world. But then like at this little corner of the world brings us all together. Well, I would say that my favorite Wacker song is Hey all you Wacker fans. Yeah. I, I love it because <laughs> it starts really smooth, like hey all you Wacker and then everybody just starts clapping. And then on the second run, it was like hear Roy Kett all rowing <laughs> yeah. like and his cat and I love it. The joy and the happiness that I see in her and the other children I'm really fortunate to be able to give my kids that. And we had no idea what to really expect. And Tammy said, I'm gonna FaceTime all the new families. And we loved it. So then when we pulled up to camp, she felt familiar to us. I just think it's a beautiful place. I mean, with very, you know, huge trees, um, you know, the lake is just crystal clear, you know, with Mount Monadnock in the background, I think that's, Something that, you know, if I had experienced that as a kid, I would still remember that. Look, 